Paul, thanks for having me in today. We're at Genesis Precision. Now, I see you've invested in a lot of hard inch machines, XYZ, um, and you've also heavily invested in Microlot. Why have you gone down this route? Um, it just gives us more flexibility, you know, with the setups on the machines, the, device, the diversity of the jobs that we do. You know, we don't always know what's coming in through the door, so um, it, it helps us with, um, you know, planning the jobs and, and everything else. We don't have to think too much about what vices we're going to use because we can just arrange these however we want, you know, to hold the work. So you have all the mark lock system on, on, on every machine, on every milling machine. Can, is this interchangeable between machines? It is, yeah, the vices, they, 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 they just um, go onto the grid plates that we've got on the machine. So, you know, we just mix and match them around really to suit the jobs. And does it lend itself to lower volume work? Um, all types of work, low volume, high volume. High volume, it comes into its own because you can put multiple setups onto the grids as well. You can have two or three different jobs running on the machines at any one time. And that allows you to do that more freely than, than normal devices, you know. And, and I see that you've got a trunnion assembly with a microlock system on there on a four factors unit. Again, that's opening up new avenues as well. It is indeed, yeah. Again, it, it gives us that flexibility to, to set up multiple jobs on the trunnion, you know, and, and, and devices are easily to, to move in and out and, and set different jobs, you know, so um, that's why we decided to put the grid on our trunnion as well. And, you know, the options are, are endless, really. Um, that's what we're finding. I mean, I can see the, the benefits here. It's modular and it's flexible and you can present more components to the spindle and you're utilising the, the, the envelope of the machine as well in, 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 in the same breath really. Now, do all the operators uh, embrace this technology and, and, and how do they find it to use? Yeah, yeah, they find it very easy to use. Um, the good thing about it is because it's all on a grid plate, you know, all the devices have all got dogs on that fit into the grid. So you can actually more so on, on your first operation jobs, but the devices will go on. You, as long as you keep your reference points, you don't really, with, with, with the, 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 um, the setting um, stops and everything else that come with it, you should really be able to be up and running without having to re-wobble re jobs or anything, you know, as long as you keep your heights and, and the offsets as recorded. So any job that goes up there, every time it goes onto the machine, it can be um, up and running very quickly. So you're saving on setup time as well with universal data yeah. points. Now, yeah. one thing, you, you've got hard jaws. What, what if you're looking to hold an irregular shape part? How would you go around that? Um, well, sometimes we make soft jaws up of our own. You can buy the blanks from Microlock, which are just aluminium jaws, so you can, you can machine in odd shapes if you want. Sometimes you can arrange devices that will just dip it a job you know, for you without even having to make special jaws. And would you recommend Microlock to anyone else? Most definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it works for us. I mean, we, we, we first bought a Microlock probably 12 years ago, something like that, maybe even more. And, and you know, every machine we've bought since, every machine in centres actually got a base with it. You know, it's just the last machine we purchased, we decided not to go down that route um, and just use standard vices. But since um, it's been in for a year or so, we've now bought a, a Microlock base to go on there. And just to round up, really, um, do you believe if you hadn't invested in Microlock, you would still be as productive as you are today? Um, no, I don't think we would, no. No, it's definitely helped with production, yeah.